hello guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here hello you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell as well thank you so much so in my last update about joda and akbar jalal gave salim the tax of replying to the iran ambassadors and jalal was really pleased on salim's reply and jalal announced salim's crowning ceremony that was our last update let's continue from there Joda and Jala were lying on the bed. Joda says that she should leave now, but Jala says no, Joda should not go. Joda says that she have to go to Arambano because Jala knows that Aram will not sleep without listening to her story. Jala says that he cannot also sleep without Joda, so Joda should please stay there tonight. Joda says no. Jala says that it is the king's order. Joda laughs and says that Jala is stubborn like a small kid. Jala says that he will not let Joda go, and Joda says that then Aram will come there. And Jalal says that Joda should let Aram come. A maid comes there and says that Bakshi and some people wants to meet Jalal in the garden. Joda says that but Bakshi went on pilgrimage. Jalal comes there and meet the caravan of the people who were going on pilgrimage. Bakshi says that they were stopped and they said that Indians have banned from Saudi. And Salima says that the crowning ceremony has not been done and they have started putting sanctions. So they should stop the ceremony. Joda says that but Salim will be out, and Jalal says that the ceremony would happen at the given time. Salim comes to the dagger to pray, and Salim gives some coins and says that they should distribute it among the poor in the name of late Rashid Khan. Anarkali comes there and hears this, and Anarkali greets Salim. Salim looks at Anarkali, and Salim says that Anarkali's father died because of him, and he cannot ask for sorry to make him come back, so he is praying to God to forgive him. And soon he will become the king and he wants to serve the people and they will make sure that no one is out in his nation. And Arkali says that she is happy to see Salim happy and she was worried seeing Salim that night in pain. Salim says thank God that Anarkali was there that night else his life would have stopped that day. Anarkali put her hand on Salim's mouth to stop him from saying anything. Salim touches Anarkali's hand and Anarkali blushed at first but then she moves away and says that this is wrong. Salim says to Anarkali that hiding her feelings is wrong and he knows that Anarkali loves someone but Anarkali doesn't want to tell him and this is wrong because he loves Anarkali a lot. Anarkali stops Salim and says that some things are better not to be said and she is Salim's servant and she can never be Salim's love. Salim says that Anarkali is not a servant or a dancer to him and Anarkali is Nadira to him and this is Anarkali who loved him as a common soldier. Anarkali says that that Anarkali died when she wore Gungros and now this Anarkali is a dancer and she doesn't deserve Salim's love now and she turns away to go. Salim thinks that the day will come that he will become a king and he will marry Anarkali and he will make Anarkali the queen of India and this is his promise and Salim leaves. Anarkali prays to God and says that in what situation is she in and she cannot tell the one she loves that she loves him and she cannot also deny her love and she thinks to say bye to Salim but then she thinks that one move towards Salim can give Salim hope and that can destroy Manvai's life. Jalal asked them to start the ceremony and the crown was presented to Jalal. Jalal says that this ceremony was stopped earlier but he would complete it today and he wants to see who can stop him. And Jalal says that he is given the crown to Prince Murad and everyone were shocked. Jalal comes to Murad and makes him wear the crown and Salim was shocked. Jalal says that Murad is his legal son and he doesn't think that the Iran king would have any problem and they will not stop the people from going to the pilgrimage and Joda will not have to change her religion and the Iran ambassador says good. Joda says that what has Jalal done and Salima says that Salim is so old. Jalal looks at Salim and says that he doesn't think that anyone should have any problem with his decision because this is the king's decision. Salim was angry in his room and Joda comes there and says that she knows what happened today was wrong. Salim says that Joda has said it that when the son becomes old enough, then the father becomes his friend. And Salim says that he doesn't have any problem with making Murad his brother wear the crown. But why did Jalal insult him like this in front of everyone? Joda says that she is hurt because of what happened to Salim, but Salim says no, no one can do anything and Joda cannot talk to Jalal and he did not have any problem with making Murad the next king, but Jalal have to answer to his question on why did he insult him so much and why did Jalal not give him his right and Salim leaves from there angrily and Joda was worried. 
Jalau was standing near the weighing machine, and Joda comes there and says that so Jalau did justice by giving happiness to one son and making the other one hurt. Joda says that Jalau wanted to make the people happy, and Jalau in the process hurt his own son. Jalau says that so Joda think that what he did was for him, and Jalau asks Joda why Joda goes to the village to serve the people, and Joda goes there to serve them as Mariam Samani, and Jalau says that as a king, he have to serve his people as well, and he cannot take the basic rights from the people. A flashback shows how Barbara informs Jalau that the caravans are stopped from going on pilgrimage, and Jalau says that this is so wrong, because it is the right of every Muslim to go on pilgrimage. Farsal says that they cannot go on war now, because they were in problem for many days, and this war makes them more weak. Jalau says that they have to overrule the king of Iran, and they will fight the war with their mind, and they will give the crown to Murad for the time being, to fool the Iran's king, and the flashback ends. Joda says that but how will Jalau undo everyone now, and how will Jalau remove the fight between two brothers, because today, one side is Jalau's family and the other side is the nation, and she is asking Jalau to tell Salim everything, because Salim would think that Jalau did not think about him in front of the nation. Jalau says that he wanted to talk to Salim, but he knows that he will be weak if he talked to Salim, and now Salim is hurt and angry with him, but Joda should trust him that the crown is for Salim alone, and Murad will not sit on the throne, and he would explain everything to Salim at the right time, and Joda was a little worried. Murad says that he doesn't like the decision that Jalau took today, and Dania says yes, making Murad the crown prince instead of Salim is an insult to Salim. Ada's uncle comes there and says that Murad should be grateful, because usually, the elder son get the title of the crown prince, but Murad is lucky to have it. Murad says that he doesn't like it at all, and Ada's uncle says that Murad should enjoy the power, because Murad is not less than anyone. Joda asks Salima if she has seen Salim, but Salima says no, she hasn't. Joda says that she is really worried for Salim, because Salim went out in anger. Salima says that Joda knows that Salim is aggressive, and they will come down later, and Kutub is with him, and she is sure that Murad and Salim's relationship will not be affected, and Joda knows that the king can do anything at any time, and for Salim and Murad, they are mothers, and it is their responsibility to keep their children's bond intact. Salima says that Joda knows that she is not Murad's mother, but she never let Murad realize that, and Joda is Salim's mother, so they have to handle the situations together. Joda says that Salima is right, and Salima says that Joda should go and rest, and she will go and make inquiry of where Salim is. Salim was out in the dark, and Kutub asks that what is Salim doing there, because Joda has been looking for him. Salim says that he doesn't want to go there, and the palace is suffocating him, and the people in the palace are double-faced, and Jalau has been doing this since his childhood. Kutub says that Salim should go and ask Jalau why he did this. Salim says that King doesn't need any reason to do things, and Jalau is doing this because he doesn't like him, and whenever he thinks that his bond with Jalau is getting better, then Jalau always does something that makes him go against him. Kutub says that Jalau is Salim's father, and Jalau cannot hate Salim, and Jalau was so proud when Salim won the war, and Jalau announced to make Salim the crown prince. Salim says that why then did Jalau emulate him today, and Jalau shows that he loves him, but Jalau does something every time to make him go against him, and he would never trust Jalau again in his life. Salim says that he is not sad that Murad has become the crown prince, but Murad should have rejected it. Kutub says that Murad cannot dare to say no to Jalau. Salim says that why can't Murad say no, because he also said no and he went against Jalau many times. Kutub says that there is a difference between Salim and Murad, and Kutub pleaded with Salim to let them go back to the palace, but Salim says that he wants to spend the night out, and he doesn't want to go back to the palace. Salima says that the palace is so silent today, and Joda says that she is scared of the silence in Salim's heart. Joda says to Rukaya to please try to talk to Salim, and Rukaya says that she has talked to Salim, but Salim doesn't listen. Amina says that Salim will not listen to anyone, and can they not find any solution to this? Rukaya says that they could have get the solution if Joda had agreed to the condition. Jalau comes in and says that Rukaya should not say that, because he has told Joda when he married her, that Joda will not change her religion, and Rukaya says that she doesn't mean it that way. 
Jalau says that no one will talk about it anymore, and this is not about Judah's religion, because he has vowed to everyone that no one will be forced to change their religion. And about the king of Iran, then he has to fight with the king of Edustan, and he will get to know the power of the king of Edustan. And Ankali was in the market, and announcement was made that Murad has been made the crown prince. And Ankali was shocked, and Ankali says to herself that she has to go to Salim, because Salim needs that at this point. Rahim comes there and Jalal says that he is so glad to see Rahim and Rahim has proof why he is always trusted and Rahim says that it is sad to know what is happening in the palace. Jalal asks Adgar that what is the news and Adgar says that the king of Iran's men has left and they are happy that Jalal is not going for confrontation. Jalal says that he would undo the king of Iran but how will he undo his Sheku? Adgar says that Salim would understand Jalal's problem and Jalal should tell Salim that it is for his own good. Jalal says that he should talk to Salim right away, and Jalal says that he will talk to Salim like a father and not like a king. Salim was in his room and he was drinking, and Salim remembered when Murad was made the crown prince. Jalal comes to Salim's room, and Jalal asks Salim to sit. Jalal says that he thought that Salim would come to him angry about the ceremony, but Salim did not do that, and is Salim so mad at him, but it is not like what Salim is thinking, and Salim will still become the king. And Murad was just made the crown prince. Salim says that why then did Jalal humiliate him in front of everyone? Jalal says that he had to mislead the men of the Iran king. And now that they have gone, he can now make Salim the crown prince. Salim says that now Jalal wants to break Murad's heart. And for Jalal, politics is everything. And is Jalal's puppet. And Jalal can do anything with him. And no one can question Jalal. Jalal says that Salim should try to understand him. And Salim says that Jalal have proved it, that his marriage with Joda is illegitimate and he is their illegitimate son. And Jalal was angry and he was about to slap Salim. Jalal says that Salim is drunk and Salim has lost his mind because of the hungover. And Salim thinks that his marriage with Joda is illegitimate, but no one can take the throne from Salim. And the only thing that can take the throne from Salim is his drinking, because Salim always loses his mind whenever he drinks. And at this time, a father wanted to talk to his son, but he would only talk to Salim when he is in his right senses, and Jalal leaves. Daniya comes to Murad, and Murad says that he cannot accept this, and he thinks that only Salim deserves this, and he will talk to Jalal about it, and he would also accept whatever punishment Jalal gives to him. Daniya says that Murad is right, and they should talk to Salim first. Joda lightens the candles, and Jalal comes to Joda and says that he tried to talk to Salim, but Salim doesn't want to listen to him, and Salim is mad at him, and Salim doubts his intentions. Joda says that Jalal did better by talking to Salim, and Jalal asks Joda that do Joda trust him that he loves Salim. Joda says that how can she doubt Jalal, because this is just a misunderstanding. Jalal says that Salim takes a different meaning to everything, and this scares him a lot. And what will Salim do when he sits on the throne? Joda says that Salim is still young and he will learn with time. And did Jalal talk to Murad? Jalal says that Murad is not stubborn like Salim, and Murad is very obedient, and he would understand his point, and he will try to solve things. Jalal takes Joda's hand and kisses Joda's hand, and Joda says in her heart that she is the reason for all these problems. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching till the end and please don't forget to like this video, share it, comment and subscribe and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.